This is Elliot Serrano for the Chicago Red Eye and geek to me coming to you from the Wizard World Chicago Comic Con in Rosemont, Illinois. And you can see why I had a problem with that because, I mean, how do you put the Chicago Comic Con in Rosemont? And they have to, I have to put the whole thing together in an intro and then, of course, San Diego pops in. Anyway, you folks don't care about this. But what you do care about is I am joined right now by the lovely and the talented Adrian Curry. Adrian? What's up? I got to tell you, this is a geek moment for me right now. Oh, Total geek geeking? moment. I'm geeking big time. Kind of like what I geeked with uh, Jeremy Bullock? Uh, yeah. A little yeah. bit like that? I read, yeah, yeah. Um, but I geek differently with you than I would with Ger- Jeremy, you know, kind of a way. Uh, I'm not as epic as Jeremy. No, no, no. You're way more epic than Jeremy. No effing way. way. Yes. Blasphemy. Boba Fett pones <laughs> all. Well, yeah, but I mean, I just I just talked to Daniel Logan. Now. Oh, I that, love my baby Boba. That, that was baby Fett. Yes. He's my little pimp. But anyway, he's oh, he was putting the moves on out there with the female Boba Fett that was He wandering. does it with everybody, including me. I love little <laughs> Daniel. So you're in town right now. You're here at the Wizard World Convention. What's the show been like for you? Um, it's been fun taking pictures with people in costumes, uh, hanging out, just getting to know people weird, normal, all alike. <laughs> Weird? Where do you get weird? Well, there's there's a couple people that came by here who are a little wasted. Oh, and yeah. I said, what's in those backpacks? And they let me know. So, uh, <laughs> Should I, like, find them? Yeah. The, I'm telling you, the party is with these drunk guys wandering around with flasks and backpacks. That sounds like me at San Diego, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> uh, a lot of folks know you for America's Top Model. Yeah. My Fair Brady. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah, here at the booth, your husband is actually set up. He's coming. But he's not here yet. He'll be here tomorrow. He'll be here tomorrow. Um, are you guys going to do the uh, Star Wars couple routine? No. Uh, a friend of mine bought him a Han Solo outfit, but it's only for the bedroom. Ah. Uh, That's it. Well, because you've had the Princess Leia. We've seen the Slave Leia. If you haven't seen it, just Google search. Ms. Curry here. You'll find it. Tomorrow I'll be in Leia You'll because be in Leia. all my Star Wars friends that got me into cosplay are here. Are the you? Midwest garrison of the uh, 501st. So for them and to jump into the group photo, I wanted to uh, I wanted to match. But Funny. Sunday I'm coming as Lilu with, uh, with suspenders. Fifth element. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. I've seen all those um, images. You do look great in those. Oh, thank you. So the topic of discussion here is how do guys approach women maybe not at a comic con at a, at a place daniel logan gave me some great tips because you know listen I mean, you, to dan yeah he's, he doesn't need a he's whole lot my, of help. my silver silver tongue devil he that is boy. he is and he but he was giving me some kind of some some tips that they would work for him pretty well because i mean look at him he's, he's a cute. good he's a good looking guy he's me cute. i'm kind of i'm taller i'm a little wider and i'm not as suave as he is tell me um now, mind you, guys, she's off the market. Married woman. This so. is this is Hollywood, though. You never know. You never know. Okay. Give it six months. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so you know, approaching you, say you're a single lady, and a guy wants to approach you. I'm married. I'm not dead. A guy can still <laughs> woo me slightly. Oh, but not okay. All the way. How does a guy woo you? Um, opening doors for me. Uh, caring, being sympathetic. Actually wanting to know what I think. Um, just being sensitive. Sensitive. Because sensitive. I'm, I mean, most chicks that are younger love the asshole. Because then they can screw him over and they can cry about it. But I think women above 26 are done with <laughs> the asshole. Like, uh, Daniel Logan will not be an asshole one day. But right now, <laughs> but right now... He is a bad boy. He's a bad... Well, hey, he's a, look at him. He's young, he's a star, yeah. and he's horny. So and, and that'll get over it. And look, it. he keeps looking over here, too. So. <laughs> and if I were Daniel Logan, God knows, I wouldn't keep my uh, cult in a stable yeah, in any way. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, it's okay. Um, okay, so you like the sensitive type. Guy holds doors open for you. But now, let's get into the nitty-gritty here. Because you've got to get a guy... A guy's got to get your attention. You look at me. I don't know if I'm really the kind of guy that that, uh, has the appearance to approach someone like you. 
give me a, 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 wor- a workover, a makeover. How should I dress to approach someone like you? Um, I'll keep the shirt because I love Hogwarts, so we'll immediately have something to talk about. Okay. I would lose the cargo pants and go with <laughs> go with some nice denims. Okay. Be it uh, the ripped up kind or just just nice jeans. Nice jeans. Cl- crisp jeans. See, I've been living in California where you don't have to dress up as much as you do in Chicago. Right. I don't like guys who try too hard. Oh, okay. So then, um, uh, the gar- the cargo pants look. I, I, we're surrounded by cargo pants here. Oh no, yeah. absolutely. You're at Comic Con. Uh huh. But I, I doubt you would come to a Sausage Fest to pick up <laughs> many women. <laughs> you know. You got a point there. Most of the broads that are here are attached to a man who dragged them. Oh, I got that Star Wars shirt, too, from Walmart the other day for six bucks. It's a true story. Now, you do rock the Star Wars gear. I mean, I see you on your your, uh, Twitter account. You're always showing off your new belt, your new shirt, your new outfit. I love Star Wars. Speaking of belt, I'm missing my belt. Now, you're, you're rocking the Imperial Officer uniform right now. Um, how, how, you know, while it looks great, I don't know if it's incredibly comfortable. It's comfortable. It's all right. I'm not dying. But you did just point out that I forgot to wear my belt. Your belt? Does the Star Wars belt buckle go with that outfit? Yeah, it matches the little oh. cog of my hat. All right. And it would sit right here, and it's silver and black. But uh, I forgot it. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Anything going on with you coming up that uh, folks should know about? whole bunch of stuff. Two things that concern gaming, so keep your eyes open. Oh, so that's very... Should there, should we, like, be following your Twitter account? Like, will yeah. you announce it on there? At Adrienne Curry, just like the Spice. Follow me. We will follow you. All right, well, what can you say? Uh, I'm just going to move on now because cargo pants... Kind of dropped the ball there, so. Yeah, and you pointed out that my costume is incomplete. I forgot my belt. And you wonder why I have no luck with women. (laughs) Thank you, Adrienne. You are welcome. It was a pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure. For the Chicago Red Eye and Geek to Me, thanks for joining us.